What's going on YouTube? It's JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. And as always, let me start by saying I am honored and humbled that you guys are here watching my video. Please do not forget to hit subscribe guys. I would be honored for you to do so. I thank you for all of you that have already subscribed and I appreciate you guys so much. So today we're back with the QLED TV by Samsung. Now, I'm doing this video not to do another video on QLED necessarily, but to show an accessory that I think is very, very cool, but a little expensive. $5.99 to be exact. It's called the Studio Stand, and basically what it does is it turns any of the 55 or 65 inch QLED TVs by Samsung or the frame TVs by Samsung you could put them on this stand and it becomes a piece of art. So this stand is actually an art easel. Now, it might be the most expensive metal that I've ever paid for, but I want to know how cool is it. Now I know it's going to be a favorite for maybe guys if you have a wife or girlfriend or ladies, maybe you got yourself a new TV and you just want it to look sleek and fancy. This is the stand you're going to want. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna unbox this, kind of show you what's in it, and then, since I already have my other Q7F in the bedroom and my Q9 hanging in my TV room and it's too big because it's 75 inch, I'm just gonna put another Q7 and we're gonna put it on top of this and we're gonna check it out. Now, here's the thing guys, this TV and the frame TV are built to be beautiful pieces of art in your living room. So, you got that little tiny thin one connect cable this has a cabling system that hides it very well. And again, I haven't looked at it yet, so we'll do that together. And then you run it down and you can kind of run it away from everything and hook up all your inputs away from the TV, thus leaving this to be a work of art. So I'm excited to check it out. Let's unbox this real quick and then see what it looks like all put together. Let's do it. All right, so we're back in. Let's get this thing unboxed. Uh, looks like I have a little visitor with us today, my cat, so if she gets in the way, I'm sorry. Seems to love this stuff, but let's see what your 600 bucks gets you, all right? All right, baby, watch out, watch out. All right, so got my uh, handy knife here that uh, is pretty dangerous. So I just want to do this briefly because I know this is not the funnest stuff to watch, and my handy dangerous knife here is not cutting very well, all right? And again, guys, if my IV pole is popping up, I'm sorry about that. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos and hooked up to it a lot, I apologize about the eyesore if it's popping up behind me. I'm trying to cover it the best I can, but let's just get to this real quick. All right, so we got this open. Now, 600 bucks should be pretty premium. So we got some instructions, which in this case, we're, I'm probably gonna need. Um, I'm gonna have to have some help setting this up. So what we'll do is I'll just pull it out, show you it, and then I'll have uh, my buddy set it up, and then we'll just show you the finished product. But real quick, so you can see what the inside of this box is gonna look like. I'm gonna turn it towards the camera. And it's kind of, you know, it's not a, stainless steel color, but it is like a darker brown color. So it's gonna look very, very classy. I know that's what we like to do our doorknobs in and so on and so forth inside the house. But really guys, there's not gonna be a lot to this because this is really just an art easel stand. And this looks like this is the holder. Now basically, more or less, this is a mount. And that mount is gonna sit on top of the brackets. So I'm just gonna throw all this stuff down here. I'm gonna continue taking this out and then we'll jump back in when I got it all laid out. All right, guys, so we're back in real quick and I just wanted to show you all the pieces laid out. So you got 10 true pieces, then you got some screws and directions. And real close, before we put them together, this is the packaging they come in and this is what it all looks like. Now I'm gonna get this put together and we're gonna show you the finished project. Pretty stoked about this, let's do it. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys. We just put it together. It was very easy to put together. Literally, you're gonna put two screws in this leg, two screws in this leg, and then this panel here has its own screw system right there. Now, as you can see on the back, it kind of gives you a list of the different TVs as far as how they get screwed in. 
And then the best part about this, and I was wondering about this, is it has these channeling systems here so that you can run the wiring down the side. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that well, but it looks like that's how you're gonna be able to hide everything there. So that's nice. So once that's all in, they provided you with this cover. Now this cover is basically, once everything's in, locks down there into place, and uh, that's what it's gonna be. But this is the back view. So let's jump in and see what this looks like in action with that beautiful TV on it. All right guys, so we're back in, and here it is, and it is beautiful. Look at it, it basically just makes this beautiful TV float in the air like a piece of art. And so far guys, I'm very impressed. A few things I wanna go over with you, one of which I did not know. First thing is, is that you can actually mount a sound bar right below the TV, and the sound bar will virtually float right below it also. It comes with the attachments for the sound bar. The second thing is, guys, is that this is what makes it all possible. You know, on the old TVs, this cable right here would be very, very thick. It's so thin that you're able to hide it easily. Therefore, being able to create art out of a TV in your living room. After looking at this, I can see that you can also put this on maybe a low stand if you wanted to bring your TV up. You could put it at any corner to make it look like art. And again, in the box, guys, it has a couple different attachment sets for the different TVs. So again, it will work with all of the QLED TVs up to 65 inches and also the frame TVs. And that's it, guys. It's $5.99. I did go online and check for you. There is some people that have it for 50 bucks off. But, guys, today, besides the price, this is a 10 out of 10 must-buy. If, of course, it's something that's in your budget, it is something that I would recommend highly. I want to thank you guys for tuning in again to another one of my videos. Please, guys, I am humbled that you're here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will continue to provide honest videos for you to make educated decisions on tech that you might want to purchase. If you have questions or comments, this is why I do it, guys. Hit me up in the comment section, and if you don't feel comfortable asking me there, find me on Facebook at JB Tech Fanatic. I want to thank you guys again so much, and remember, guys, the world is a sick place. Love your family, love your neighbors, Take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.